Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Machine Expert HVAC. I'm your host Leandro Mada and in this video what we're going to see is how we can create a project in the software. So let's go to the presentation. So once we install the software in our laptop, we should be able to see an icon, a folder, uh, and give us access to these two instances of the software. Okay, we have the EcoStruction Machine Expert HBAC and we have the EcoStruction Machine Expert HBAC installer. Now you may ask, what is the main difference? Okay, so basically the installer, let me just put the pen over here. This one, the installer, allows us to create different instances of the software. So we can open, for example, uh, have in this project several devices for example i have two m172 performance on one display or another optimized you can put all this information in one project so in the future if you just want to share variables between them they can be uh, easily done okay as i can show you here if this one is only for one device and this one can have several devices as you can see here at the end it opens the um, this software which is the EcoStruction Machine Expert HBAC okay so the idea behind this is to if you want to use the software for one project okay just open the this one and proceed with the creation of the files if you want to use for example the PLC with a display with the display color um, have another plc in the same building probably in that case i would rather use the installer okay so to have an example here let's see i have for example in this case i have the program for a chiller okay in the building 01 and this one i create a program okay for the building for the complete building and inside the building i have chiller one the yahoo another chiller and another chiller okay so i open the project and then inside i can open individually projects that are linked to the same building or site okay that's the idea so before going into the installer well, that probably can be a little more complicated um i'm going to open the hbac the standard one okay so just to show you how it looks like how, how it is so doo -doo -doo -doo. let's open in here there we go just bear with me and the other screen so this is the view when you open this software the ecostruction machine expert hbac so in order to create the project what we need to do is to have a name okay for example chiller here we need to find the locations okay so i have it on the desktop uh training here on and i have created this folder okay now i'm going to show you this uh what i got okay the desktop mm -hmm. training only one you can see over here this is the location okay so in this location there is nothing inside so what i'm going to do now is to create the project and locate it over here and only one so once you define the name of the project that you're going to have and the location you will need to select the controller so the controller is over here this is the list of all the controllers available on the software so in my case i'm going to use this one the smaller one is to start building everything okay and this is the program okay we already created the project and if we go to the folder okay it creates a folder with the name of the project that we have already defined okay and here is the plc brj which is the project um, itself okay this is the one that we need to open in order to open the instance of the ecostructure machine expert hbac okay so this is how you can create a project okay the easiest way to create a project okay but now what i want to do is to show you let's save this i'm going to show you the other way that is using the installer 
So once we open the installer, okay, we have a different view. So let me just open the installer. Installer. Let's open the other side. Do -do -do. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, we have a different view, okay? In the other one, we saw here that we have the name for the project, the location, and then we just select one device. Here, we just need to add into the tree the devices that we want to have in the project. So let me just continue with the presentation. If you just right-click on Untitled and then Add, okay, you should be able to add from the catalog all these devices okay the other way can be to click on the main screen the device that you want okay once you select this okay you should be able to add any amount of the devices that you want okay to have for example something like this so let's try to do that so i'm going to add this one in the project when you click it will ask you do you want to add it, this device yes so i add this one Okay, if I right click over here and untie it, you can also add another one from here. Add device. This is the catalog. I'm going to use this one, the bigger one. And I'm going to add add screen. Okay. This one. And yeah. So as you can see here, I have the untitled of the project. There is no really something with sense here at the moment. Okay. And then we have the PLCs and the display. So the next step would be to assign a name for this to have more sense for us and identify the projects. So if we go over here and click on the PLC, okay, we should be able to change this name. So I can specify this as Chiller. Okay, and you see that the name has changed. This one, I don't know, Ahu. I change the name and here um display room. Okay, so we change the name or everything. It's going to be much easier for us to identify which is the project that we need to open. So let's continue with the presentation. Okay, for explain this part. Something important here is that uh, below the name, you should be able to see the file version. This file version is related to the uh, to the firmware version of the BIOS, uh, the BIOS that we have on the the BIOS that we have on the software. On the PLC install and the one that we want to have it. Then, now that we have already defined the names of the PLCs or display that we're going to have, it's important to change the name of the project that we have so we can identify it in our system. So, I have created this folder on my side. Okay. Okay. Training okay which is empty right now okay so what we're going to do is to say the project when we specify to say the project it will ask us to define the name for the complete project so what we can do is to assign the name and then we should be able to see how this untitled change the name to the one that we have already defined so if i go back to the installer say save with this and yeah. So building SE save, and you can see over here that it changed the name. So it's going to be much easier for us to identify what we have. And if you pay attention, I you know you managed to see it, but the extension is different, which is CFN, okay, which is different to the one that we already have compared with the project, okay. If you compare this to the other one, the only one, it creates a folder, and this is a project which has different extensions, okay. So when we have this CFN, okay, is the one that has this um, installer, and I believe in the past. Uh, we have a um, so machine it was in different application and this one was connection if i'm not wrong uh, but doesn't matter now so we have already done this so if we continue with the uh, presentation okay this is what i meant okay so we already 
help creating the project more than one device and change the name of the devices save the project and check where the folders i created so far so good okay but it only creates like uh, the environment or the architecture that we're going to have for our controllers okay just the definition we don't actually see any program yet okay so what we need to do is to add the program that we want to use which is the ecosystem machine expert hvac okay so here you should be able to see uh, a lot of information okay that are related to the bios of the the bios parameters of the controller okay that basically are the information the configuration the internal system now here you can see that you have plc hmi hmi remote and plc plus hmi application for the display what we need to do is to create an instance or create the project here okay so if we pay attention on the folder okay there is nothing here okay just the cfn so if we right click over here and define open source code okay it will tell us to create the actual application with the name that we want i usually leave this as the same name as i have of the plc name so it's going to be easy for me to identify what i want to open so i press ok you can see here the plc project is next or is inside the same folder i have the main installer okay and in my other window it just open the installer okay so if we close this yes save and if we go to the folder okay you can see that a new folder has been created okay chiller and chiller plc prj okay so this is how you can create in the installer several plc's okay uh, or add several plc's and then the program for each of them so if we go back here we can do the same for all of them so here or you can use this one open Ahoo. okay it will open on the other side the other screen i have this <laughs> let me just show you that it's opened there we go it opened this now i'm going to close it yes and i'm going to do the same for the display so we can go to the other point that i'm going to show you display room yes it's going to open the other side there we go so save and now if i go back here it creates the three different folders for each application okay so if we continue with this okay we already explained this part okay create this one yes uh this is the location we already explained okay and uh, that inside the main project along with the installer it creates different folders depending on the name that we have already defined and it creates the name here also for the device that we want okay uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. here you can find different information some of them have more or less I mean, it, it and it will depend if the project has been compiled or not basically we start nothing to worry about it at the moment okay so we already create a program for each of the devices and we also check uh, where the files are stored in the folder in the main folder so um this is one of the questions okay what happened if i delete um one of the devices on the installer okay so basically you can delete from the installer okay but it doesn't delete from the folder so you will need to do it manually okay so let me just show you uh installer okay so let's say that i'm going to delete this display because i'm not going to use it so if we pay attention here in the folder i have this display room that has the project 
So right click over here, remove. Yes, I want to remove it. And if you pay attention here, let's just save this and go to the here. The folder is still in there, which is good. Okay, so imagine that you have the other project and you have, um, for example, you have another standalone PLC and you want to add it in the, in the same area. You can copy and paste it over here. Okay, define the name, everything, and then on the installer, you just add the device. Yes, I want to add it. Here, I'm going to define the name. Again, display room. And here, in the PLC and HMI, you just need to browse. Okay, here, you just need to go to the folder where it's located and open the PLC PRJ. And simple as that, the project has been added again into the system. Okay, so if we go back here to the presentation. Okay, and uh, this is something. So, um, if you're only going to work with only just one PLC, probably you don't need to open the installer. Okay, so just continue with the normal instance as I showed you at the beginning. Okay. Um, and this is how you can open it. Okay. <clears throat> As I, I believe having one PLC and curating is much faster and easy to understand how the process works. That's why I start with this part at the beginning. Okay. Um, we already defined this part. So create one project and check the location. So this is how you can create a project in the EcoStructure Machine Expert HBAC. In the next video, what we're going to see is to go in detail or have an overview on the different um, tabs and parts of the software so we can get to know it much better. So thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one. Thank you.